I'm Jeff Cogswell and today I want to show you a little bit about how I managed to get a large multi-core system running on Amazon on their web services and test out some of my multi-core programs that I wrote through uh, Parallel Studio. So here we are at the management console and the instances page. Earlier I had created a smaller uh, Windows which is actually an M1.large and I added to that a very large 100 gig hard drive for its main volume and then I installed uh, Visual Studio and Parallel Studio on it. Since that took a while I didn't want to be running the huge multi-core system right there. Instead I wanted to run it on one of the smaller ones so it wouldn't cost as much during the couple hours it took to install everything. Now then I detached its main volume and created my great big server up here which is a cc2.8x large server. So let's head over to the volumes page right here and you can see I've got my 100 gig drive here. I'm going to right click and detach it and detaching usually happens pretty quickly and then I'm going to attach volume. I'm going to attach it to the, my main to my great big super window server here and we do dev sda1 and then click yes attach now it's attaching and sometimes that takes a few minutes then you run over to instances and we're ready to start up we click start and this will launch our super windows using the hard drive that we put together using a smaller windows. Now this is going to take possibly as much as a half hour to get going. So I'm going to leave this and I will stop the recording and come back and resume once it's running. Okay, after a while, you will see two out of two checks passed, which means the system is up and running. Down here is the IP address you will use to connect through remote desktop, but you cannot use the Get Windows Password feature here because it'll give you the wrong password. We need the password that's stored on the hard drive itself, which is the password we used when we originally set up the earlier server. So next, we will go ahead and log in through remote desktop. Okay, our server was, is up and running and I was able to log in through Remote Desktop. You can see I've got a whole bunch of cores here and a lot of available physical memory. Let's switch over to Visual Studio which has Parallel Studio installed. This is the console application that I described in the article where I've got a Silk 4 up here and a Silk 4 down here and I'm allocating a massive array of 5 billion size and I had used a long long to allocate that and each of those is a float so we've got five billion floats now let's go ahead and run this thing debug start without debugging and while it's running we'll switch over here and you can see all our cores filling up and we can switch over to processes now I had added the commit size up here and you can see that I'm filling up the memory quite quickly here come back over here and I'm going to shift this down here a little bit so we can see it's still in the initialized. And it's finished. And we'll come back here. And we can solve this. And we can see the cores winding down. And the process has ended. So there we go. We created a multi-core application and allocated a very powerful server on Amazon and we were able to try out 32 cores. Now one last thing before we wrap this up, I want to remind you to come back to your Amazon console and right click and do stop because you do not want to leave such a big server running, otherwise it will get very expensive.